Hey Rob, it's Morgan here. Uh, I think I took some lessons from you a couple of years ago, um, but I thought I'd like to start doing lessons with you again. Uh, so I thought I'd send you uh, a quick video with, with some answers to your questions. Obviously I, I replied to them, but I just, uh, just give one second. Oh, what's going on? Uh, okay, so it says here, can you play the G sharp note? Yeah, I can sort of. I mean, let's see. Uh, so G sharp, G sharp, G sharp, G sharp. G sharp. Uh, this one I always have problems with. Uh, e, F, G, oh, that. And then this one, obviously. I kind of... Um, Kind of getting better in this area, but round here near the near the twelfth fret, I kind of having problems. I always have problems with um, E F G, um, and and it's usually easier to to um, to do the enharmonic notes. I don't really know the flats and the sharps. Um, I just kind of more or less know the the just the notes that aren't sharp or flat. Um, do you understand chord theory? Yeah, so obviously uh, 1, 3, 5 and then 7 uh, is a major chord and then 1, 3, 5, flat 7. Uh, I used to be able to play some kind of other chords as well, you know, obviously like um, major 7, uh, sorry, dominant 7, um, major 7, um, major 7, dominant 7. And I also used to be able to play kind of like, um, you know, like 13s, uh, oh, sorry, Let's see, I'm a bit rusty. Yeah, what is it? Oh, yeah. Is that it? Can't remember. 11 sharp 7, I think, I can't remember. Anyway, so all the, all the basically extended chords, I can't remember anymore. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that could be fun to get into, like get into a bit of jazz or whatever later on, that would be good. Um, one, six, two, five. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, yeah, I know what you mean by that. Um, again, I can't remember how to spell the different, you know, like if you told me like D major, I'd have to think about it, you know. Um, but yeah, I don't know it off the top of my head immediately. Uh, can I play triads in more than one place? I can, but again, it's the same thing is, um, I can kind of, I kind of know where they are, but I, don't, I haven't really internalized it. So, for example, you know, like C, um, so I don't really know. I kind of know. Uh, yeah, I haven't internalized it. So basically, yeah, that'd be good to get into. Um, caged. Uh, again, I kind of know them. The shapes, but I don't really, I haven't internalized them. So, and then the the um, uh, the minor chords is much harder. some work as you can see uh, again pentatonic shapes I kind of know them but I don't really know where the roots are so obviously I can play them but I, I'm trying to teach myself where the root notes are because I never really did So I kind of know the. Uh, I kind of know some of the root notes for the minor pentatonic scale, but not really the um, the major. Um, and then arpeggios, uh, same thing. It's like you know, obviously. 
So... You know I got it wrong. Yeah, I haven't done that in a long while. So yeah, maybe maybe that would be good to get into as well. Um, Doria, yeah, I kind of knew them. Um, you know, Mixolydian Sharp Four and all that, but I've forgotten all of that. Um, so yeah, so basically all of this stuff, I suppose I need to go through again. Um, but I'm not starting from scratch, as it were. Uh, and to be honest, I mean, what my favorite bands are kind of like I'm kind of an '80s kid, so I'm 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 into uh, Guns N' Roses and uh, U2, and basically my favorite band I would say is probably Guns N' Roses, um, and I like ACDC, and uh, yeah, anything that's kind of rock, basically, uh, you know, like Hendrix, um, ZZ Top, that kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, I'll I'll play. Uh, I'll play a backing track for you, just to give you an idea of where I'm at. Um, hold on a second. Uh, so I just figured I'd play uh, Thrill Is Gone to begin with. <laughs> 